I am turning 30 today and I'm honestly very excited. As a woman in a leadership position, it's actually often easier to get acknowledged when you're in your 30s, so I'm more than ready to take on the next chapter of my life. But I also wanted to take this opportunity and share 30 things that I've learned in the past 30 years. 1. Trying something new with the chances of failing is better than not trying at all. I learned that instead of trying to hold myself back, I try to take on new challenges and I get up and try again if I fail. 2. I'm a morning person and my body feels much better when I live by the circadian rhythm, which means going to bed early and waking up with the sunrise. 3. My body doesn't do well with coffee. <laughs> I typically get very anxious and my stomach can't really handle the coffee acid well. Instead I learned to love matcha and tea, which gives me a much more gradual wake up. 4. Peer pressure is not worth it. For many years I was comparing myself to others on what they were doing, how they were dressing or how they behaved in life. However, I learned to accept myself and embrace the uniqueness that I bring to the table. 5. Quality of friendship is more important than quantity. I now have a handful of very close friends that I see myself investing in for the long run. In my 20s, I became very picky with how I spent my time and chose to spend it with people that bring me energy instead of taking energy from me. 6. How to properly invest my money. I learned how to invest in real estate and bought my first investment property when I was 28, while also being smart with diversifying my assets in stocks, bonds and emergency funds. 7. I learned how to sew and how to design clothes. In the pandemic, I decided to gain some new skills and sewing was one of them. Since then, I have not only made lots of lovely pieces for myself and friends, but also started an Etsy store to sell sewing patterns to others. 8. How to give constructive yet supportive feedback. In my job as a manager, it's very important to be empathetic, but also to be direct, which is a fine balance, especially for constructive feedback. 9. How my body reacts to different nutrition. Some food brings my body more energy because it doesn't need to spend that much time digesting it and I used the past couple of years doing restrictive diets to understand my patterns more and more. 10. How to dress for my body type. Every body is different and most people don't have a fashion model body type. I don't go with outfits and magazines anymore and instead invest in long-term pieces that bring me joy. 11. How to use the power of silence in meetings. In the early years of my career, I thought that the loudest voices have the most to say, but later on I learned that silence often has more power and depth than that. 12. To play tennis, at least the basics. I wanted to learn tennis for the longest time, and in a pandemic I finally started exploring it more. I'm still not great at it, but I'm committed to getting better at it every year. 13. How to meditate. I struggled with mindfulness for a while and my brain was constantly drifting off when I tried to meditate for anything longer than two minutes. Last year, I went on a retreat and learned to meditate for over three hours in a row, which is a huge success for me. 14. How to heal from heartbreak. Falling in love and also falling out of love has been present in my 20s as well. Obviously, it was very painful at times, but it also helped me reinvent myself more than once to become the person who I am today. 15. I don't really enjoy alcohol. I learned that I don't really like what alcohol does to my body and reduced my intake of alcohol drastically. I still enjoy a glass here and there in social settings, but rarely opt for alcohol after work trying to calm down by myself. 16. The basics of video editing. With my YouTube channel, I finally also got the chance to dive into video editing. I've always been super passionate about photography and I'm excited to explore this further now in my 30s because it's been a great creative outlet for me. 17. Investing in a good sound system at home is worth it. I enjoy music, especially house music, a lot in my life and at some point decided it's time to invest in a good sound system for my home. I literally have five different Sonos One speakers around my apartment and I've never looked back. 18. I'm rather single and happy versus with the wrong person. Through dating in a big city, I learned that I enjoy being content and by myself more than dating for the sake of dating. If I eventually find a person that makes me feel like myself, great, but until then I'll be happy being alone. 19. Making my bed in the morning gives me comfort. I start every day by making my bed because it gives me a sense of accomplishment before the day even starts. 
20. What kind of home decoration I thrive in? Over the years, I started investing more in creating a calm and comfortable home for myself and learned that I really love the japan decor style. 21. My base happiness comes from creating and building things. Many people find happiness in the moments after the storm, watching TV, reading, vacation. However, for me, I learned that I'm the most happy when I can create things in life instead of just relaxing. 22. The type of traveling I enjoy the most. I tried all-inclusive resorts, backpacking, city hopping and beach vacations and learned that I actually love solo traveling while exploring places with comfort but still uncertainty. 23. Sometimes money needs to be spent to come back to you multiplied. Whenever I spend money, I tell myself that I'm investing in myself, even if I'm just buying clothes. Oh my god, I got monetized on YouTube today. I truly believe that money needs to be spent to come back to you later on. 24. How to make manifestation work for me. I learned to believe in the power of my own thoughts more and more because everything I put on vision boards over the years became reality. Really, everything. 25. How to recover from rejection. Not everything in life will always be perfect, but finding a strategy to recover from setbacks has been a big lesson for me in my 20s. Be it from relationships, a job, or even uploading a video that flops. 26. How to set boundaries. Standing up for myself when needed has been critical for me in setting boundaries. For example, whenever my friends ask me if I'd like to go out but I'm not really feeling it, I learn to set the boundary for myself to accept that I actually want to stay home instead. 27. The type of workouts I enjoy. I tried many different sports throughout the years and became really balanced and happy when I found the type of workouts that make me feel good and show transformation for my body. 28. How to appreciate little moments in life. Looking back at the big moments, I now remember the small ones more actually. Little sunsets throughout the year or a cup of tea with a friend in a nice place gives me more pleasure now than rooting for the huge milestones. 29. Thanking my parents for how they raised me. My parents embraced a high trust parenting style and while not really understanding it as a teenager, I learned to be very grateful for it in my 20s. And the last 30. I truly love myself. Accepting myself and learning to embrace who I am has become a really big priority for me. I'm unique the way I am, talk, behave and present myself and don't want others to influence that too much anymore. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.